It was here in this very room where the term Stav Legata was coined. Not created, mind you. <clears throat> that happened years ago in a Texas band hall and is lost in the mists of time. It has been passed down from director to student through the years. The ancient Italians called it simply Legato, or tied together. The German, Gebunden. Recently, relatively, it is called touching quarters in the band hall of the University of Houston. It was in this milieu that our protagonist, Michael Staub, learned of its musical powers. Every note must touch with no space in between is the mantra of the Cougar bands. Michael took this from the mighty ranks of the Cougar bands to this little room with his bands of fewer than 40. He preached it every day in every rehearsal and soon became the practice here at Lutheran High North. And the bands flourished, and the honors kept rolling in. Twenty wind players sounded like thirty or more, the blend and intonation flawless. But Michael is not a boastful man. Far from it. He would never allow his good family's name to be attached to an established musical concept. No. That was the cunning work of his frustrated colleague, a brusque New Yorker with initials for a first name, a sloppy, dysfunctional jazzer who wreaked havoc on the concept of smooth playing at every turn. Here is the story. Stab Legato, is that a Cubs thing? I think that the impetus for Stab Legato probably started when Michael was a student at Concordia, Nebraska. He was a very serious student and was always pushing me to do some of the finest literature, but he was pushing everybody in the group too, especially his harem, I mean his section, um, all females, and they had lots of sectionals to make sure that they could get this exactly right. Now, Claire, I'm sure nothing happened these times at all, but I do believe that's where Stavogato really began. Obligato is. Stab Legato? Sure I've heard of it. I just read an article on the Louisiana Music Journal. I wish my students used it. Stab Legato, Roger that. I know what that is because my son's in a band at school and his director harps on him all the time about it. Stab Legato this, Stab Legato that. But for me, as a contract pilot, it's a perfectly smooth day of flying with almost no time on the ground in between flights. Hmm, memories. I remember a legato, Michael. Always calm, laid back, easy going, pretty smooth, but always on top of his music. He played lovely legato when it was written. He played lovely legato when it wasn't written, but it always fit the line of music. It always flowed. He was a great section leader. He taught many to be just like him. Very legato in all cases. Cannoli, establegato, as smooth as the feeling in the beautiful cannoli that my wife makes. Establegato, of course. As an ex-helicopter mom, I'm always looking to expand my son's vocabulary with the latest terms to help raise his SAT scores. He's 12, so bright. Anyway, Sal Legato was the
the word of the day on one of my internet vocabulary subscriptions, the definition is to play music with an almost hyperbolic smoothness. The derivation is of recent origin, Texas, I believe. It attaches a surname to an existing musical term. However, the common usage is more sarcastic in tone, as in, she always plays Stavagato. 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 Every week, a concert promoter will call me up and say, are you going to bring the Stavagato? I mean, <laughs> I, right? I mean, I, I would never go to a gig without the Stab Legato. Stab Legato? I'm not sure about that. But I'll tell you what. The St. Louis Cardinals are an excellent example of smooth, consistent performers over the years. 19 pennants. 11 World Series championships, 8 in my lifetime. Some of the greatest players in baseball history have worn the birds on the bat. So many I can't remember them all. Classy organization with the best fans in baseball. Home games sold out almost every night. Sure, we're looking up at the Wee Bears now. They're playing well. Maybe it's their year. One great season every century or so is ex to be expected. It still is only May. Perhaps there's a lot of baseball to play. Great teams are built year in and year out by doing things the right way. Maybe that's Stab Legato. By the way, thanks for Brock Fabrolio. Stab legato? Hmm. Must be something from one of those other Lutherans. I mean, your job is pretty demanding. Every day is a new day. The most important thing is remembering stab legato, which is setting those priorities, and then if we make a mistake, starting over and realizing tomorrow's a new day, and it's okay, I'm gonna to try to do what's right, be a mom, have my kids know that I'm their mom, and uh, as you mentioned, the most important gift we can give our children is that unconditional love. Legato, scamato. I know you're all worried about stop legato. What you really need to be worried about is whether or not the Cubs are still playing at the end of October. Now let's get on with it. So there you have it, a glimpse at stop legato. As we close, let us ponder the final thought of Dr. Christian. Now let's get on with it, is what he said. Was that a directive to us to play and teach as best we can every day in every rehearsal and every performance? Was it a not so gentle chide at our protagonist to finish his dissertation? Or was it simply an encouragement to all of us to embrace Stab Legato? We will see, we will see.